Imagine a calm, dark ocean, a huge red sun in the sky. Imagine waves lapping at a sandy shore, and on the beach we could even imagine something stirring. Okay, so at present we can only use our imagination, but this could well be the scene on what is possibly the most important world yet to have been discovered by astronomers. The first truly Earth-like planet to have been found outside our solar system. So far, the new planet is only known as Gliese 581c. It orbits a small red star known as Gliese 581 in the constellation Libra. But I wouldn't rush out to get your telescopes just yet, because although Gliese 581, the parent star to the new planet, is one of the closest stars to us, it's still just over 20 light years away. That's about 120 trillion miles. And from our viewpoint, it's so dim, it can only be seen with a really powerful telescope, like the one used by the team of European astronomers who discovered it. Early research shows that the planet is about one and a half times the diameter of the Earth. It has a mass five times that of the Earth, probably made of the same sort of rocks as makes up our world, and has enough gravity to hold a substantial atmosphere. It's possible that it could be covered in oceans because it has the right temperatures to allow liquid water on its surface. Astrobiologists, they're scientists who study the possibility of alien life, refer to a climate known as the Goldilocks zone, when it's not so cold that water freezes and not so hot that it boils, but where it can lie on the planet's surface as a liquid. In our solar system, only one planet, Earth, lies in the Goldilocks zone. Venus is far too hot and Mars is just too cold. The new planet is right in the middle of the zone, with average surface temperatures estimated to be between 0 and 40 degrees centigrade, that's 32 to 102 degrees Fahrenheit, lakes, rivers and even oceans are possible. The presence of water also means it may support life in some form. In fact, the discovery of the new planet has set so many alarm bells ringing that it's even forced bookies to slash their odds on the existence of alien beings. So if the parent star is 10 times the size of our sun and still dim when it's seen from the Earth, how can its planet, just one and a half times the size of Earth, be studied? One recent example involved the study of a planet three times further away from us than Gliese 581. The planet's so far away that scientists can't get clear enough images to separate the planet from its star. So the team used an instrument aboard the Hubble Space Telescope called a spectrometer, which breaks up light passing through a planet's atmosphere into different bands, and they used that as a basis for the studies. In that case, they detected methane, which caused excitement because it's the first time that an organic molecule has been found on a distant world. Any planet that orbits a star other than our own sun is called an exoplanet. Of the 220 or so exoplanets found to date, most have either been too big, or made of gas rather than solid material, or far too hot, or far too cold for life to survive. Gliese is the first exoplanet that is anything like our Earth. Back in February this year, a meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science agreed that more than half of the sun-like stars in our galaxy could have terrestrial planets with the potential to harbour life. But even though we don't know much about Gliese 581c yet, scientists believe that it may be the best candidate so far for supporting extraterrestrial life. Just because Gliese 581c is habitable doesn't mean that it is inhabited. What we do know is its sun is an ancient star. In fact, it's one of the oldest stars in the galaxy, and it's stable. If there is life, it's had many billions of years to evolve. One of the scientists who discovered the planet, Xavier Delfos, said, On the treasure map of the universe, one would be tempted to mark this planet with an X. Because of its temperature and relative proximity, this planet will most probably be a very important target of the future space missions dedicated to the search for extraterrestrial life. <laughs> <laughs>